Hello everyone, uh, I'm Prajwal S. I'm the Student Placement Coordinator of ECE. Um, today we are going to discuss about verbal ability. Basically, English is an ubiquitous language. It is present everywhere. Uh, wherever you go, uh, English is there. So basically, English plays a very important role during your interviews also. Um, a good conversation, a, a good converser plays a very important role. The way you present your ideas to the interviewer plays a major role uh, in the process of you getting selected. So uh, the topics we will be discussing today is uh, sentence completion and the other is error detection. So the pre-requirement for both of this is uh, for you to have a good uh, sound uh, knowledge about English, about uh, various words in English. So what I would uh, suggest is more than watching movies, uh, read good novels. Uh, and uh, for you to you know know more words and complicated words in English, uh, there's an app uh, available in both uh, uh, iOS and Android. It is known as uh, Magush GRE flashcards. So refer that. Uh, let's get started. So first one is the sentence completion. So um, basically, this is where uh, they will give you uh, uh, choices like four to five choices, and you have to choose the best fit for that particular sentence. Uh, so uh, let's uh, go into it. Uh, the first one is um, fate smiles dash those who untiringly grapple with stark realities of life. Here the meaning of grapple is um, struggling or striving or uh, you know um, staying strong uh, no matter what. So uh, untiringly, untiringly grapple with stark means you um, uh, facing the difficulties, harsh difficulties in life and then uh, staying strong. So for this uh, sentence uh, the options are with, over, on and around. So uh, the best choice for this is on because uh, fate cannot smile with you, it cannot smile over you, it's, it just doesn't make any sense. So, uh, so on is, it is like a way of, uh, you know, it actually uh, you achieving your goal. So fate smiles on those who are untiringly grapple with stark realities of life. That makes perfect sense. Next one is, I saw a dash of cows in the field. For these type of questions, you have to be aware of um, different kinds of groups or clusters. Uh, for example, uh, uh, you know, a, a flock of birds or a pack of wolves or uh, something like that. You should be uh, you know, well aware of what a group of something is called. So for cows, it is known as herd. So for this, the answer is, I saw a herd of cows in the field. Yeah. Uh, moving on to the next question, uh, it is the grapes are now dash enough to be picked. Uh, for questions like these, you have to be aware of what um, kind of the question it is. For example, ready, it is more of a general sense, like uh, you are ready, you are getting ready somewhere. So that makes a general sense. Mature is usually associated with a person uh, about his uh, maturity. So that doesn't go well with this. Advanced is basically about scientific science and technology, so that doesn't go well with this also. So the perfect fit for this would be the grapes are now ripe enough to be picked. Um, next one is my uncle decided to take Dash and my sister to the market. This is a fairly complicated question where a lot of uh, people make mistakes. Um, for you, what most of you think the answer would be I and me. Uh, most of you will get a confusion between those. So decided to take myself and mine are completely wrong. Okay, so um, uh, when you're speaking to somebody and you're referring to them as you and I are going somewhere, that is when I comes into picture. Uh, but for this particular sentence, my uncle decided to take me and my sister to the market makes perfect sense. Next question is man does not live by dash alone. This question uh, refers to something which is known as idioms in English. Uh, they are uh, a fair example of that is as clear as a crystal or as firm as a rock. You are actually referring something else and then comparing it to something else. Uh, when you are comparing it to humans or anything else for that matter, it is also known as a metaphor. Uh, but for this question, uh, you may also ask man does not uh, live by food, meals and diet alone uh, can also make uh, a good match. But it, it doesn't make a perfect match because this is, as I told you before, this is um, uh, kind of like an idiom. So uh, bread is used as a general term for all the food intake you take. 
so the uh, correct answer would be man does not live by bread alone uh, the next question is rohan and rohit are twin brothers but they do not look alike this this is a very very simple question and it is the most basic in its form um you may also um unique also makes uh, a good sense but it doesn't fit different is completely um uh, not possible because um the word but is used here which is a contradictory sentence contradictory word sorry so um uh, different doesn't make sense likely uh, doesn't go well with this so uh, between unique and alike alike is a perfect match um next one is he dash in wearing old fashion coat in spite of his wife's disapproval um as i told you before uh basically basically in english you have to be well aware with the wide range of words and you should know their meanings as well insist persists desist all sound the same but all are very different in meaning insist is someone uh, you know giving you a suggestion about something persist is uh, even though someone doesn't want you to but still you do the same thing that is when uh, it is called persisting okay uh, persisting doesn't always mean the other person doesn't want you but when you hold on to something and do it for a long time that is known as persisting uh, in this question uh, he is wearing the old fashion coat in spite of his wife's dis- disapproval here you get to know this is wife is not approving it she doesn't like it but still he is wearing it he is persisting in wearing the same cloth that is why he persists in wearing the old fashion coat in spite of his wife's disapproval so this is the end of the first fill in the blank uh, type of questions the second type is error correction in this uh, type uh, basically what happens is they would um, they'll give you a sentence and uh, out of those two or three words would be grammatically wrong so what you need to choose they'll give you four to five options and you have to choose the best correct fit of the grammatical options which are available for you so um uh, you have to go well with how it sounds uh, how it matches with the sentence and what meaning it gives so and also uh, take care of any contradictory words if they are available so the first question is a small child does whatever his father was done this is the sentence which is given and uh, here the first um yeah, also i need to mention that there are 12 types of tense uh, tenses in english present tense past tense future tense past perfect present continuous etc but uh, mainly uh, if you know if you have a, a general idea about past present and future that is more than enough you can go with this uh, coming back to the question uh, the small child does whatever his father does goes perfectly well uh it has done doesn't make any sense at all did is um, the tenses doesn't match so that doesn't uh, go well uh, no correction uh, required is definitely not an answer because the sentence is wrong uh, so the que- the answer would be does it sounds well and it goes with the question too next one is the man to who to who i sold my house was a cheat definitely the answer is to whom i sold because to who is when you are referring to a person for the first time whom is you have already met the person and you have done something with that person you have sold you have borrowed something you have done but then you are referring to him again that is when whom comes into picture so uh, clearly the answer for this is the man to whom i sold my house was a cheat next question is he is too important for tolerating any delay this type of question is uh, to uh, note the keyword which is to which makes uh, the person very very important so uh, it is another way of telling this person is very busy uh, that he can't afford to be late or uh, be made late by anybody so the correct answer would be he is too important to tolerate any delay so uh, that just goes well with the grammatics uh, so that is the answer Uh, moving on to the next question uh, the fourth question is anyone interested in the use of computers can learn much if you have access to a personal computer this clearly doesn't make any sense because somebody else is interested and it doesn't matter if you have a personal computer it is not going to help them so um uh, the keyword here is anyone if it was a group then you could have used uh, they have access and that would have made perfect sense but since it is any one it is referring to one particular individual either a guy or a girl so it has to be he or she has to is a 
right answer. So the right answer is anyone interested in the use of computers can learn much if he or she has access to a personal computer. Next question, uh, what does agonize me most is not this criticism but the trivial reason behind it. As I told you before, you have to be well versed with the very different uh, uh, range of vocabulary and wide words. So here uh, two important words are trivial. Trivial is uh, just another uh, synonym for insignificant or very small uh, and agonize means you are exaggerating an emotion. So basically it is mainly used for pain. Uh, that is why you might have heard often people telling agonizing pain. Uh, so coming back to the question, uh, it has to be uh, what agonizes me most is not this criticism but the trivial reason behind it is the right answer. Um, no other reason, no other uh, answer goes well with the question. Next one. Hardly does the sun rise when the stars disappear. In case this question was disappear in, you know, in place of disappeared, then the question would be right. It will, uh, or in other words, no correction were required. But since it is disappeared, there uh, has to be mandatory correction. And uh, the correct answer would be hardly had the sun risen when the stars disappeared. Yeah. And moving on to the last question. Because of his ill health, the doctor has advised him not to refrain from smoking. So uh, this, this uh, sentence is wrong both technically and grammatically. Uh, technically because no doctor would advise you to not smoke, uh, to not refrain from smoking uh, when you are ill. Uh, when you're Ill. Uh, refrain is uh, to withhold or withdraw uh, or to cut away from something. Uh, so basically uh, when you are ill, uh, when you're Ill or uh, for any uh, circumstance for that matter, the doctor generally, no, always, uh, they uh, advise you to quit smoking and not do it. Uh, so the correct answer should be because of his ill health, the doctor has advised him to refrain from smoking. This means uh, because you are not well, the doctor is asking you to quit smoking or you know uh, to uh, withdraw from smoking. Uh, that is what makes a uh, corrections grammatically and technically. Uh, that uh, with that we come to the end of our discussion. Thank you.